for the problems up here, ladies and gentlemen, what we can see is, actually, for the problems that we see up here, you guys can notice that, all right, here I don't have it to the x squared, right? This is not a quadratic. This is a trinomial, and, and the degree is three. three, so it's a cubic, right? The end behavior would be fall left, rise right, just saying. Um, but anyway, so we want to factor this. Now, this does not look like that, right? Hopefully, if I gave you guys another problem like this, you guys would at least maybe have an idea on how to factor that, right? At least an idea. Correct? Yes? Yeah. So here, we don't know how to factor this. So what I would recommend, what we always do, the first thing we're always factoring is you always want to look to factor out the G GCF. So let's see. Is there something all three of these terms share? X. X. So what we do is a lot of times, again, I like to represent factoring by areas and squares and rectangles. All right. So if you guys look at this here. If I say x is common between all of them, then I'm going to make x one of the side lengths. So x times what gives me x cubed? x squared, right? Remember, ladies and gentlemen, when, remember the rules of exponents. When you're multiplying exponents, you add the powers, right? So x times x squared is x cubed. x times what gives me 8x squared? 8x. And x times what gives me negative 9x? Negative 9. So now, ladies and gentlemen, this times this gives us that, correct? Mm -hmm. So that times x squared plus 8x gives us our original problem. So by factoring out the x, look what I now have. Do I have a quadratic that is easy, that is easy for us to factor? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and guess what? It's the same quadratic. You guys notice I'm doing the same numbers. I'm doing the same problem over and over. Just each one gets a little bit more difficult. So now we can factor this, right? I'm not going to go through the whole process. We just did the factoring over here. So now my final answer is x um, plus 9 times x minus 1. 